I know you guys are struggling with the Horang matchup, so let's cover how to play against him. This topic can be super complicated, so let's cover the most bang for your buck fundamentals when facing him. Firstly, his neutral game. Horang has really linear approach tools. If he's trying to close distance, sidestep in either direction. If he's not using those approach tools, then he's a lot more susceptible to your keepout moves. His own keepout game, however, is very strong. If he's not running into you, be careful approaching him, as his down forward two and back three can easily catch you. If he randomly switches stance when mid-range, watch out for backlash, which is another one of his great keepout tools. You can duck or space it, but the recovery is really fast for some reason. High crushing moves work well here if they're getting predictable. So we know what to do when he approaches and not to approach him haphazardly. So what do we do if he's turtling? The first strategy is patience. We don't need to risk running at him if we don't want to. And once the Horang recognizes that you aren't running in like a maniac, he'll either lose patience himself and throw a keep out move or begin running into you. The second strategy is baiting. This is where we more aggressively move forward, with the intention of getting Horang to swing. We can do this by dash blocking, or wave dash blocking. Make sure you immediately block when you see him swinging, and use the block or whiff frames to punish or start your offense. So we've got neutral down, now let's cover his strings. His 1-1-3-3 is a high high low high. He has no other extensions from 1-1 so if you see it duck and launch. His 4444 is all high. I recommend ducking on reaction to the last hit. The third hit is duckable, but he can cancel it, so be careful. Although his down 4-4 is low high, it's a jailing string, meaning you can't duck the second hit if the first hits. This string breaks neutral guard, so hold back and 13 frame punish it. His down back 4-4 is low high as well, but this time it can be ducked. He can go into Flamingo after the first hit. Your best options here are sidestep right block or just block. We'll get into more specifics after the strings. His while standing 2-3 is a mid-high that can be ducked and launched. From right stance, he has 3-4 which ends high. And in right Flamingo, he has flappy kicks which have a high extension down 3-3 three, three, and down 4-3-4, four, four, which both end high. So we have neutral down and some strings we can look out for. Let's cover a few moves that you can't afford to not punish. First of all, Plasma Blade is minus 19, always launch him for it. If he messes up his safe blue spark skyrocket, he's minus 18, launch him. If he does a jumping mid launcher from Flamingo, it's similar to a hop kick, at minus 14 from left, and minus 13 from right flamingo. His down forward 3-4 armor kicks and his armor move from flamingo are both minus 12. His spinny punch is minus 14. Please don't let him get away with this. His homing mid from right flamingo is minus 10. And he has these 3-3 extensions that are unsafe. Except for 3-3-4 that ends high and which leads us on to the next topic. We have a pretty good foundation for what things we can look for and punish versus Horang, but what on earth do I do when I'm in the blender? Ah! The first thing we want to make sure of is not to press when he has an egregious amount of plus frames. Horang will often start his pressure with the following moves. Down forward 1-3. 3-3-4. Down 3 4. 2 3 1. 1 2 Flamingo. And Flamingo forward 3. Now, if any of these hit you, you definitely shouldn't challenge. If you block any of these besides down forward 1 3, you probably still shouldn't challenge. You can, however, try to sidestep. I'd avoid sidestepping after down 3-4 and 2-3-1. But a quick sidewalk or sidestep block here can avoid a lot of his options. To clarify, just block if you got hit, and on block, sidestep block is generally a good option. 
Another plus frame move to note is right side back two, which he'll use mid blender to continue his offense. This move is easily sidestepped, even in minus frames. When he's in flamingo, the general rule is to sidestep the direction Horang's chest is facing. You can throw in the occasional dick jab too, but he can launch you if he has a good read. Remember, if he wants to use homing moves or armor moves, he will be punishable. Knowing this, along with the different strings you can duck, will hopefully get you out of the blender as painlessly as possible. Alrighty, you're looking ready for battle, but there's more to cover. Firstly, watch out for his grabs. Horang has a full grab game, with 1, 2, and 1 plus 2 breaks. He also has a command throw from Flamingo, but these are all 1 plus 2 breaks. His throws have some disgusting Oki as well. Be extra careful when getting off the ground. Speaking of Oki, this is where Horang will probably try and use his plus frame running moves. You can avoid this by side rolling or staying down, but he has really strong ground hitting moves too, so make sure you mix up your get up methods. A final tip I thought of as well, if he's doing this BS against you, start using keep out grabs. I know that was a lot of information, but until you verse much better players, this should be everything you need to know to survive the matchup. To wrap things up, let's watch a quick replay of one of my ranked games versus Horang. At the time of recording, I have far less matchup knowledge, so my challenge to you is to try and spot things I could have improved on based on what we've learnt today. first round I ran my own offense, but once I was in the blender I lost too much health before getting out. Instead of mashing dick jab like an idiot, I could have sidestepped left, giving me a really good position against the wall. Let's move on. Round two. Fight. Very quick round. Dick jabbed my way out of the blender again, ran my own cheese, then punished Plasma Blade. I know it looks pretty brain dead, but if your opponent doesn't know how to deal with dick jabs, you can get away with it. Try not to build a bad habit though, it'll only work for so long. Fight. <laughs> This round you saw a classic Horang keep out moment. Remember to always test the waters with dash blocks first. I also missed a crucial duck which would have won me the round. Let's keep it going. Round four. Fight. <laughs> Thankfully I stopped dick jabbing and just blocked. I got my turn back without taking much damage. 
Remember, especially when you have no idea what's going on, the best defense is good offense. Final, final round. Fight! <laughs> I did an embarrassing amount of dick jabs, but I wanted to show this match because I had a lot to improve here. What I hope is that while watching, you spotted for yourself things I could have done better, ways I could improve, because that's the skill you'll need to reflect on your own games. I'm sure there's lots that I missed, but if you think of anything, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you learned something. And as always, thanks for watching.